Hello Scorpio and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Scorpio. We're looking at the 18th to the 24th of March 2024. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We have Snake, number 28. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. Now, snake energy can be very good in terms of medicine or finding just the remedy to your situation. It can also be, for me, quite transformational, the shedding of an old skin, out with the old in with a new. But can also have the negative connotations of a snake too. Let's see what we have with that. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. We have Relationship Harmony, Archangel Ragal. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you for the week. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Scorpio need to hear for the week? Thank you. 18th to the 24th of March, 2024. So it's a lovely card. We have the star as your overarching energy. Renewed hope, blessings, wish fulfillment coming your way. But sometimes we just have to have faith. Four of Cups, someone offering you something here, Scorpio. You're not sure whether to say yes or no right now. You're just thinking about it. Can link in with some kind of dissatisfaction, discontentment. The Seven of Wands. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn male or female, or the energy of the card. Solid, stable, secure, success, manifesting success. Male or female, if it's a person. Queen of Cups can be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, male or female, or the energy of the card. Very much in touch with your emotions and feelings and what they're telling you. Self-love first and foremost as well with the Queen of Cups. Again, male or female in this energy here, this is likely you. Highly intuitive. The Nine of Swords. King of Cups. King and Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Wands. Let's pull a card for the star. What do we have for the star? Thank you. It's Scorpio. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. It's a solid offer. Knight Spring offers an opportunity for change. This is very good in terms of practical, money, career, financial aspects, contracts, job offer, business opportunities, sum of money, contract. 
Um, it can be very good also in terms of, of a committed offer, even in a relationship. Yeah, I mean, the energy that I'm getting here, I mean, there's a relationship central. Now, yes, money career might be affecting a relationship here. And again, you might be advising each other or, you know, talking to each other in terms of what to do if it's something that's affecting a relationship like money. Because the Four of Cups might well be that someone might be trying to steal you away or there's some offer, to get, offer given to you and you're not sure whether to take it or not. Do I, Am I happy where I am or do I take this offer that's given to me? Because the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Swords, it can represent... Um, some kind of defensive energy. Because there's uncertainty, it could well be uncertainty with your current circumstances. And you're wondering whether to take the offer in order to defend and protect what's important to you. You know, I mean, it could be protecting your financial stability and security here, Scorpio. Uh, so this could be the energy here where there is something offered to you. It might come in a bit of a different form. It might be something that you don't know whether it's completely right for you or not. Um, or it might mean some kind of changes, for example. You know, uh, could be working hours, could be where it is in terms of travel. Uh, you're not sure whether to take it or not, but you're understanding that it feels like there is a there is a reason why you're feeling that you need to defend and protect what's important to you. Um, because uh, there's uncertainty. Now, sometimes we feel this kind of energy when change has happened in money, career, financial aspects. Could have been endings or could have been changes in your company. And you might be fearing that things are changing um, and you're not sure in terms of whether there's, there's stability and security there anymore. So even though something's coming in, you're not sure whether to take it or not, there's fully an understanding here of needing to defend and protect what's important to you, your financial stability and security. It could well be, you know, the King of Pentacles. It's either you manifesting money here, Scorpio. King of Cups is generally Scorpio for me as a reader, male or female, in the minor arcana. It could well be this Queen of Cups would be advising you or supporting you. Again, if this is something that affects a relationship. King of Pentacles is somebody who can hold opportunity as well. Just like the Knight of Pentacles holds the opportunity, so does the King of Pentacles. And it can be very positive in terms of the Ace of Wands, an exciting new opportunity. Business, career, you know, enterprise, initiatives, projects. This is a really exciting opportunity that really gets you all fired up. Uh, really connects to your heart and soul, your passion, you know. So this will be something that you'll be very excited about. I think that something is offered to you here. You're not sure whether to take it or not. The, the practicalities of whatever that offer is, is making you think about it. But the star is about moving forward in faith and just surrendering and trusting because there's blessings with this offer. That would be the energy here. And again, like I said at the beginning, something that's just a remedy. You might be going through a deeply transformative time, endings and beginnings, shedding of an old skin, out with the old, in with the new. It could well be bringing that relationship harmony back into, you know, balance. You know, this is the energy here. Finances can affect that in some way. So in terms of money career, that's what I see for you here, Scorpio. If this is about a relationship... The energy on the on the cards is saying somebody is defensive. Uh, they're stepping up to the plate and, and offering some level of commitment because they're worried about another person wanting... And they're, they're fearing that someone's tempting you away. Um, they're fearing that you're going to, you know, go off with somebody in terms of relationship because somebody might be offering you, you know, greater stability and security. It could even be somebody at work or who you work with. Um, but this is the energy here. It feels like some kind of, it's not the classic third party situation, but there's just a fear here of someone's hidden intentions and therefore they're stepping up to the plate in offering you love and moving forward to greater commitment. And it likely could be that by doing that, they might be completely changing their position 
in terms of, for, for example, they might have said, oh, I never want to get married or I never want to have children. Or, I'm not sure I'm ready to buy a home and live together, you know, or I don't know if I want to adopt, you know. Um, it could be a number of things that affect the relationship itself. It could also be, you know, in other areas of life. Again, I sometimes give the example of sometimes, you know, one person wants to move back near to where, you know, they were children, childhood, parental, near parents. You know, sometimes things happen, you know, where one person wants to do one thing and the other person hasn't. But it feels like there is a relationship central here and there's a fear that someone is going to tempt you away. So they're stepping up and offering a level of commitment. They're moving forward to greater stability, you know, um, and commitment. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here for you here, Scorpio. It just feels like someone knows it's time to step up or is feeling it's time to step up. Almost kind of like, it's like marking their territory because they're feeling the intentions of another person. Uh, so there is an exciting new beginning. Again, the Ace of Wands can be a really exciting new beginning in a relationship. You know, the spark, excitement, passion, uh, chemistry. You know, this just feels very exciting in terms of, yeah, let's do it. Let's move forward. I know I said I never wanted to do this before, but, you know, and I know I haven't been sure about doing this, but let's do it now, you know, because they're worried about somebody else's intentions. This can be the energy here. Again, the snake, like I said, can have a little bit of a, a negative connotation in the sense that someone, they suspect somebody, you know, a kind of subversive or sly energy, you understand. It was the snake that tempted in the Garden of Eden, remember? So this is the connotation that I'm kind of getting that kind of energy in terms of relationships. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? As a final message. We have protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. That's what I have for you, Scorpio, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.